Scotty just call him a body. When I walk through, walk through, cashed out everything brand new. Everything brand new. Yeah. Shitting on you, on you, and I ain't never had to do it for the never had to do it for the yeah. It's every Nicole. Yeah, stop playing, bitch. I ain't the one. Bitch, I ain't the one. All right, you guys, so we're getting right into the video. We ain't playing no games. I'm coming to you with the huge catfish transformation, period. I'm about to get my face beat to the guys in my laid, my laid, my wig laid to the heaven, period. So I have this new Chi product that I'm using. Well, it's new to me. It's the Silk Infusion, and I'm using this to kind of, you know, heat protect the hair, give it some moisture, get it ready for what we're about to do. All I did was um wash the lace. Um, This wig was only worn once by um somebody in my photo shoot. This hair is from shop having nicole and i haven't worn it yet so i was like man like it's time for me to wear it. it's just been sitting in the drawer so um washed the lace plucked it a little bit and used a silk infusion and now we blow drying period so blow dry that hair make sure it's completely dry you guys this is my full lace wig shop having nicole is closed down right now but we will be launching back soon we have custom color wigs like this one that you see here and these wigs are amazing you can choose your density your length and your color and you're gonna get you a wig set so period so i'm using this new me curling wand shout out to new me for sending me this curling wand along with a couple others and i am basically gonna do some hollywood kind of curls i think i guess i mean i'm just doing waves the same direction throughout the whole hair and i want them to just be perfectly aligned and it's a process you guys but I definitely figured it out. At first, I was just curling it and letting the curls just drop, but I realized that I had to use a different technique that you're going to see me do later. Make sure that the front is very flat. I'm going through my hot comb from Kendra's Boutique and I learned that you have to hold the curl in place a little bit, then pull. So you hold it in place after you curl it to let it cool off just a little bit, then you pull after it's cooled down. So that's what I do throughout the whole head, curling in the same direction for each curl. And then I end up combing it out at the end, which you guys are gonna see. When I get to the top, I use my lot of body foaming mousse, you guys. This is the best thing ever, you guys. So in the front, I basically combed each part before I curled it. And just make sure when you curl it that you do the first one flat and then just like let the rest of it wrap around each other. And that's on period. So now I'm using a big comb to comb that out. And yeah, look at my wig. Hey, my wig looking good. I see the aesthetics of this video is just perfect. And... Shout out to my cat dog onesie. Kept me warm throughout this video while I was filming early in the morning. So who we'll remember cat dog? If you do, comment down below. All right, so let's move on into the portion of getting this wig right, okay? So I'm going to make this lace my color, you guys. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Chestnut, and I'm using just a brush to get it on the lace, period. Dab it on the lace, dab it on the lace, hey, dab it on the lace, uh, 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 period. So now I'm going in with this new spray that I've been using, and it's the Bedhead spray, you guys. So good, you guys. Just spray it in place. This I don't use for a really, really, really long hold. I use this... For when I know I'm gonna, you know, be switching wigs in and out. I mean, I only do one layer. I'm sure if you do like a good three layers or four layers, you'll be good for a few days. So now we're moving into the eyeshadow portion. So quick little thing. I did my eyeshadow on the other side first. Hated how I did it. I tend to know what I'm doing after I do the first eye. So I ended up wiping that eye off and doing it off camera again. So today I'm using my Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot to prime in my Huda Beauty palette love these palettes shout out to shalom for giving these palettes to me great palette now the blue in this palette isn't all that great you guys so i honestly had to it is great but it's not that royal blue that i was going for oh and i got inspired off of um someone on instagram with this look so shout out to her for that i think her name is nizra looks i think that's how you say it but anyway back to the look um I used that blue from the Huda Beauty palette and this white from the James Charles to make the blue a little lighter because it was a little bit dark. 
I learned that from the other eye. You know what I'm saying? You live and you learn. So now I'm going back in with the blue. And I used the blue from the Kylie Cosmetics Royal Peach Palette. If you look that palette up, you'll see that blue. That blue in the middle is just so rich. And it layered so well with the blue from the Huda Beauty Palette. So period. my LA girl pro concealer in the white shade now I found that mixing this in with that blue underneath gave me the sky blue like the same color as my hair so all I did was set that with airspun instead of like applying an eyeshadow over it because it pretty much gave me the eyeshadow that I needed that I went and tried to force on the other side <laughs> So I'm kind of doing like this diagonal kind of cut crease situation because I tried the eyeliner thing, but y'all know I suck at eyeliner, so it, 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 it didn't work. So now I'm going to be using my NYX glitter primer to apply my glitter. I'm using this glitter palette from Cara Beauty. This glitter palette is so bomb. It's it's so bomb, guys. It has every glitter you need in it. It's easy than having like these little glitter containers. <laughs> So now I'm going in with my NYX white eyeliner to cut the lid with the liner. Not good at eyeliner at all, you guys. This part was really hard for me, but I made it through. Now to the face. We're going into LA Girl Pro Concealer. I already moisturized my face with my Nivea cream. And I do this part for my smile lines. So I'm using my Derma Blend Pro setting powder in the color. It was saffron, something saffron, my bad. But I'm setting my smile lines and now going into foundation with my Too Faced foundation in the shade Chestnut. So I was making a TikTok, you guys, so you'll see me pick up my phone throughout this video, but I'm just going to be blending out my foundation. After that, you guys, we're moving into concealer, and today I'm going to be using the Kylie Concealer in the shade Chai. love this concealer so much, and I went ahead and mixed it in with my Juvia's Place concealer as well in the shade 14. So I like to let my concealer sit a little bit. That's why I was falling asleep, because I'd be letting my concealer sit, and I'm using this Japanese brush to blend out my under eye concealer. And to brighten it a little bit, I went with the white concealer again, just to give me that really, really bright under eye. The girl I got the inspiration from, she had like really bright under eye and I it inspired me. So I'm, you know, I had to do that. So to contour, I'm using my Makeup Forever foundation stick, but to contour and I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal to cut under my contour and just like make it a little bit more sharp. I don't do this all the time, but I figured I would do it for this look because this look is glammed up, baby. Glammed up. <laughs> And of course, to bake my face, I'm going to be using my Air Spun Powder again. Now to set my powder contour, I'm using my Benefit Hula Bronzer in the shade Caramel. Then I'm going back under the eyes with the same colors I used on the lid. You guys will see here, and this is the Royal Peach palette that I was talking to you guys about. Okay, lashes are from my girl in Orlando. She sent these to me and Kay to try out from House of Bell. I love these lashes, girl. Send me some more. I like the ones that you sent me. The other ones, these were a little bit too long, but they still was good. But the ones you sent me before, I got to figure out the number. They were bomb. So I know I'm going pretty fast, you guys, but I use my MAC Melody Skin Finish under my contour. And then I use my NYX um, no filter powder in the shade Golden under the eye. And then I used that orange shade in this James Charles X Morphe palette for my blush. Dang, I went pretty fast on this portion. But I didn't want to bore you guys with like, you know, so yeah. I mean, I'm going to let y'all watch the rest of the video. Um, The rest is self-explanatory. 
Let me just say that for my lips, I use a lip liner from the drugstore, Kylie Cosmetics, and Jaclyn Hill, Nude AF. So I'm going to just let y'all enjoy the rest of the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this look. Spam icy blue emojis in the comment section. And that's that on that. I love y'all. See you next one. Bye.